Good afternoon to everyone. Good afternoon to all my sections handled. The Nine Rizal, Nine Lapu Lapu, Nine Mabini, Nine Nasinto, and Nine Palma. So this video is for you. So I, I will teach you today how to join a class using the Google Classroom. And also I will teach you how are you going to submit your module answers, your quizzes, your performance tasks, and any other activities that I've asked you or posted in the Google Classroom. So let's start. So the first thing to do is to open your Chrome. Okay. And go to your Gmail account. Of course, you have to you have to enter your Gmail account. It's very important that you have your Gmail account because it will be used every now and then, most especially in our online class. So on your Gmail account, you can see here uh, nine dots, a square with nine dots. You have to click it and then browse you have to find the Google Classroom here. So, kung nakita nyo na yan, you have to click it. And then, you will be direct, you will be prompted with this screen. As you can see here, may mga, may mga, er, may mga Google Classroom na mapasok to. Pero, for today, we will be joining another class. If you want to join a class, you have to Click the plus sign here, and then join class. After joining a class, this will be the next one. You will be asked by a class code given by your teacher, and the teacher is me. So ask your teacher for the class code and enter it here. So most probably, nasa Facebook po ang class code na yun. Punta kayo sa FP group na meron kayo because I already posted all the Google Classroom in each section that I handle, handling. So, I will joining a class of 9 Mabini. So, dito tayo sa 9 Mabini. Now, I already posted September 19 pa. So, this is the class code. You can copy it. Control C and then paste it here. Yan. After that, for my class code na, you can now hit the join. Or, mas madali, if you, if you don't want to copy the class code, you can simply hit this. And then, mapupunta ka na doon kasi binigay ko na yan eh, yan. So, kahit ano pa man, yan, parehas lang sila ng pinuntahan. The same, the same. Different process, but the same destination to 9 Mabini. Okay, so, isa lang dapat. So, here on your stream, you can see on the left side, what are the activities, what are the things that you have to submit. You, you have to submit the assessment, the performance, the quiz, the mod answer, and all of these are due on Friday. Okay, so look at the missing. As you can see here, there's no work na nasubmit mo na. May natapos ka na ba? Wala rin po. So, it's time for you to submit. How are you going to submit your work? So, you can, we can start with module answers because this is the most important thing to do. Your module came from your school. So, read the instruction. I post an instruction here. This is where you will upload a picture of your answers to all your module. Just rename it into the title of the lesson of the week. Click Earn In to notify me that you already submitted your work. Take note that you should upload it on or before the deadline. Then do not delete it ever what you have submitted. Okay, so rename it. Ah. If our lesson is about respiratory and circulatory system, just name it. Not just name it that way. If our lesson is all about genetics, so genetics will be the title. So it depends upon the lesson. The title of your module depends upon our lesson. So now, after that, if you have submitted all your work, you can now proceed to add and create on the left, on the right side of your screen. You have to click it, and then you have to choose to what kind of 
what kind of destination or what kind of documents file ba yan, Google Drive or doc or slide or sheet ang inyong ipapasa. So for me, ang ipapasa ko is picture at yung picture na yon ay nasa file ko. Okay. So, the things ito, you can now see that there are pictures on the Google Drive. Pero, nasa documents ko siya, so we have to browse it. Okay? And then, sa documents, pipili kayo ng pictures, kung nasa downloads na ba, nasa documents, nasa picture, or nasa desktop. This is the same process that you are going to use if you are using the cell phone. Just browse it to the documents. Okay? So for example, I will submit a picture coming from the picture folder. And my module has 10 pages. So my answers are written on 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 pages. Yan. So you have to click. <clears throat> and so, when you see this kind of, when you see all this, you have to turn in. Turning in meaning to say that you, ha that you are going to submit your work to me. When, the, when you hit turn in, may kita nyo dyan sa baba, and submit. When you see this, it means that you already submitted your work and it will be, I will be notified. <clears throat> okay, then back to the stream, what else, classwork, what else ang niyo pa na submit, performance tasks, okay, view assignment, so here in the performance task, I said that create a poster about the per importance of respiratory and circulatory system, put your work on a piece of poster paper, make it eye catching meaning make it beautiful and wonderful, if you are done with your poster, Take a photo of it and send it here in the Google Classroom. So, I have here a, present a criteria of your poster. For you to get 11 points, the poster clearly com the poster should clearly communicate the main idea and strongly promotes awareness. Yet 8 points will be received if your poster communicates some of the important ideas down and slightly promotes awareness. 5 points only if the poster indirectly communicates the idea. Four points if the poster does not sufficiently communicate any idea that can promote awareness. So, in, in under creativity, the nine points is the highest, followed by seven points, five points, and four points. So, you have to read all the rubrics that I posted here so that you will be guided on how to get high score in your poster. Anyway, it's Wednesday pa lang naman, so you have two days pa para mapaganda pa yung poster niyo. So, you have to read all the rubrics here if you really want to get high score. Okay? So, you're done reading all the criteria. Take note, ha? Under creativity and all the criteria, lahat yan, meron akong chinect dyan na plagiarism. So, meaning to say, this Google Classroom, this Google Classroom can detect the copied work. Malalaman ko kung kinopy mo lang siya Dinownload mo lang siya sa isang sources because the Google Classroom is uh, is very intelligent pagdating sa plagiarism. So, meaning to say, your work should be original, unique, and creative. You have to present it to me in a nice way. In a very nice way. Diba? So, for example, may papasa ka na, na picture ng poster mo. Add or create again. Then, go to file. Kung nasa Google Drive mo siya, you can see here, pero kung nandun siya sa documents mo, punta ka sa upload. Kung, nandun, kung kukunin mo siya sa documents or sa mga gallery mo, mag-browse ka. Okay? And after that, punta ka na doon, kunin mo na yung picture. Then, mapunta na siya dyan, mag-load, wait for the loading, ayun. Siyempre, pag, mas, pag konti, mas madali yung loading. Hit turn in. Turning in, meaning to say you are submitting. Yan, turning in. Yan, so unsubmit, makita mo niya unsubmit. It means that you already submitted to me. Going back to your stream and classwork, as you can see, dalawa na yung naka, 
dalawa pa yo dalawa na yung naka-blurred meaning to say na submit mo na yan so assessment in week 1 it's all about the book widget all you have to do is to click that and then may kita mo na idadirect ka niya dun sa book widget yan so may kita mo kung meron gagawa ka ng account din syempre sa book widget pero kung may account ka na bigla ka madadirect ka na dun sa dapat mo sagutan like this it is a transfer system in your body what is that? How many chambers are there in our Choose and then click the correct answer. What happened to the diaphragm master as you okay? Yan. These are all our lesson last time. Okay. Click, click, click mo lang yan. What is your answer? Okay. So, close ko na yan. Ganon ang book widget. If, if ever na nakasagot ka na, may papasok na Gmail sa akin that you already submitted. Ika, mag-mark as done ka na. Kasi nasagutan mo na. So, click mark as done. And then, as you can see in your classwork, tatlo na yung naka-blurred, meaning, tapos mo na yan. Isa na lang ang hindi mo nasagutan. And that is your quiz one in the Google form. Actually, the Google form is very easy since ito po ay binibigay ko ang link sa ating group chat. All you have to do is to click it Pwedeng i-click mo to or pwede mo i-click yung galing sa GC natin. Okay? If ever you are done answering the Google form, hit mark as done. Ayan. So, going back, check mo nga kung okay na lahat ng classwork mo. Ayan. So, let us see kung ano-ano na ang mga nagawa mo. View your work. Here, you can see kanina walang laman to but now, Meron ka ng apat na nalagay. So, meaning to say, there are four things that you already accomplished for the week. And that is very good. So, it's your time now to rest. Kasi tapos mo na yung mga assignment mo sa science. Okay, ganun lang po. Um, that is how you will join the class. Get the class code. Or, punta ka na lang dito sa pinost ko in our FB group. Madadirect ka na dyan. Okay, pag nakapasok ka na sa class, punta ka na sa classwork mo for you to ha for you to view what are the things that you have to do and then isa-isa mo na yan. Turning in, turn in, turn in or mark as done. Don't worry kasi may notify naman ako every now and then kung sino-sino sa mga 9 Mabini or 9 Lapu-Lapu, 9 Bisal, 9 Palma, 9 Nasinto ang may gawa na. There, are, there is an email that will be sent to me in, a, in my gmail na uh, notify ako and then kung sino man ang hindi nakapag-submit I will call his or her attention so I hope natuto kayo about joining a class in Google Classroom and natutuan nyo rin most importantly how to submit your work because that is how I will grade you okay that's all for today and thank you for listening